Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video here on Crypto Loop. Today, we're going to be talking about FTX, Sam Bankman Fried, and whether he's running away with your funds right now. Um, so, let's get right into the video. So, first of all, uh, as you guys all know, FTX filed for Chapter 11 and Chapter 15 bankruptcy um, in the United States of America. Something that came out, which I just wanted to mention right off the bat, is the Bahamian liquidator said that FTX wasn't authorized to file for bankruptcy in the US. Basically, they filed for a Chapter 15 bankruptcy, which is typically used in cross-border operations. Um, and the Bahamian liquidators are now saying that they didn't really have the authority um, to file in the U.S. since FTX did have companies both in the Bahamas and in the U.S. So now Bahamian uh, liquidators are saying they should have um, filed in the Bahamas and not in of the United States of America. Um, next thing we're gonna take a look at real quick before we take a look at the hack, um, which is going on and basically where the whole running away with your money uh, part comes in. Basically, Sam Bankman-Fried says he regrets filing for bankruptcy. Um, this was published nine hours ago. Uh, Sam Bankman-Fried did an interview uh, yesterday, so on the on the 16th of November, um, and he called filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last week his biggest single fuck up. Um, so obviously it's, uh, it, that's the way that Sam McMurphy talks, but yeah, he sees it as his biggest single fuck up. Um, he answered, uh, he had an interview with Fox, as I said, it was yesterday, November 16th. Um, and they were talking about FTX, Alameda, gambling with customer money, uh, the FTX hack, um, and everything around that. So basically, yeah, Bank, uh, Bankman Freed, Sam Bankman Freed wrote he fucked up multiple times. Um, maybe ch um, filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy was actually his biggest single fuck up. Everyone apparently was telling him to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Um, and he actually said that if he hadn't filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, everything would be 70% fixed right now and withdrawals would be opening up in a month with customers fully whole. Um, but instead I've filed and the people in charge of it are trying to burn it all to the ground out of shame. Now, let's take a look at this right here. How would this be fixed? Now, the only two things I can come up with since obviously the hole isn't gonna fill itself, the $8 billion are still missing to make everybody whole. Um, but potentially since, and I, I'm not trying to get too conspiratorial right here, but Sam Bankman-Fried, as we all know, has donated a lot of money to political candidates, people in positions of power, uh, political parties in general. Um, and potentially there's something there um, where he could have retrieved $8 billion. Maybe there's a bailout, investors, whatever the case may be. Apparently, he's saying that it would have been fixed. But let's take all of this with a grain of salt, since obviously... He's trying to paint uh, the best picture for himself. So now him saying, ah, if I wouldn't have filed for chapter 11, this whole thing would not be an issue anymore um, and funds would be back and I could have fixed everything and now I'm out of the process. So now I'm not able to fix it anymore. So it may just be a big excuse to try and make him look better. Um, so yeah, they, as I said, they were seeking $8 billion from investors in emergency funding. Um, and he even offered his personal wealth to make customers and investors whole, which I don't think he has much personal wealth at this point, unless he's responsible for the hack. And we're going to get to that in a minute. Um, basically, yeah, he was saying... For him, um, he had two weeks to get the $8 billion, which is basically all that mattered for the rest of his life. Now, however, the new FTX CEO, so uh, the, the guy they appointed, he was also for the Enron bankruptcy uh, proceedings. He was also made, uh, he was also responsible for those. So John Ray um, has reminded the public that Sam Bankman-Fried has no ongoing role, role in FTX, FTX US, or Alameda Research and does not speak on their behalf. So it's still unclear whether, even if Sam Bankman-Fried could find those $8 billion, if it even would make any difference. Um, then, you know, Sam Bankman-Fried went on a rant about regulators. He said, fuck regulators, they make everything worse. They don't protect customers at all. Um, and then a couple hours later, he basically went back on all of that. And he said, it's really hard to be a regulator. They have an impossible job to regulate entire industries that grow faster than their mandate allows them to. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for this situation. And now let's go over and take a look at the whole hacking situation. So obviously, obviously 
there has been a shitload of speculation going on whether was it an FTX insider was it Sam Bankman Freed did Sam and Caroline together uh, sort of uh, use a backdoor into FTX since we do know that Sam did have a backdoor to FTX or was it really just an outside hacker regardless the FTX hacker becomes the 35th largest Ethereum whale um, and obviously now it's a question of if, if a dump is incoming or if he's just going to hold on to those Ethereum um, but if we go through this right here we're going to see the steps um that the ethereum uh that the ftx hacker made so first of all he swapped over 7000 bnb into 1500 ethereum he converted 48 million dollars in uh die to 37000 ethereum he exchanged 3500 bnb for around uh 900000 usdc and then he exchanged another 3500 uh, BNB for another 950,000 uh, uh, BSC USD, so I think it's BUSD, um, and then he traded 15,000 BNB for around 4 million um, BUSD dollars. Um, so after that, he had around uh, 4 million in in uh, BUSD. He converted that to Ethereum versus the, via the seller networks um, and exchanged it for a total of five point. 5,000 ETH. So now the hacker owns around 217,000 Ethereum, which makes him the 35th largest Ethereum owner. Now the question is, what are the odds of Sam Bankman-Fried having taken this money? What are the odds of him hacking this? Now we all know he's lied multiple times. He's made up blatant lies. He's lied to investors. He's lied to the public. He clearly does not really know how to legitimately run an exchange since he's just been moving money from FTX to Alameda and whatnot. Um, and he is obviously fucked. Um, they are talking about extradition to the US and all of that, all those nasty things. So it's still going to be interesting to see if Sam is going to be protected by obviously all of the donations he made to the Democrats. He, some people in FTX also made donations to Republicans. So he's kind of back from both sides potentially. Um, obviously mainly by Democrats since those are also the main guys holding the power right now. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if he actually gets extradited, if anything's going to happen to him or if his power plays are sort of going to protect him. Um, but as to the question, if he's involved in the hack, it's very, very hard to say. Um, I think there's a good possibility that there is some involvement. He himself said that it may be a former FTX employee or malware on an, on the computer of a former FTX or current FTX employee. Um, so that's that's kind of tricky to say. And obviously it's, it's hard to know if it's actually him. Um, it's anonymous wallets, it's an anonymous hack, uh, but he did have a backdoor. So I don't know, we don't really have the answer to that question yet, but what is clear is that he did run off with a lot of money regardless. Um, he had a $30 million mansion in the Bahamas and whatnot. So it's gonna be hard to say um, if, if he actually did the hack, but he clearly took a lot of money from investors. So drop your thoughts in the comments down below on this. Did he do the hack? Do you think he is behind the hack of FTX? Do you think he used his backdoor? Do you think he maybe left malware on his computer so he could access um, all of those things even after he was um, no longer CEO and no longer involved with any operations. Drop your thoughts in the comments on that down below. I'd love to get a discussion going. Please also do subscribe to Crypto Loop if you haven't done so yet and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll keep you guys up to date and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.